Hello everyone, this is the Hunter, Collect uh, the Hunter Collector uh, with another action figure review. And here we have finished all the Marvel Legends Thor Love and Thunder uh, wave figures. And now we're going to build Korg. So first off, let's just start off with introducing the pieces. So first we get the torso, the most important piece, which is from uh, Team Groot. And then we got the right arm, I mean left, left arm from Star-Lord here. So let's kind of maneuver that a little bit. And then we got the left arm from Thor, Ravager Thor. And then we got the uh, right foot from Gore. And then we got the head and weapon from Valkyrie. And then we got the left leg from uh, Jane Foster Thor. And then we'll put them all together. So first off, we'll just grab the torso. We'll start with the legs because those usually tend to be a little bit harder to get on. So it's kind of got forced in there a bit. Should click. Yep, there we go. Actually, it wasn't too bad. Then we'll get the other one on. So yeah, there's that. So that's what it looks like with them on. Then we'll get the arms in. This should be able to just pop right in. There we go, pretty easy there. Okay, gotta mess with this one a little bit. There we go. I know there's not gonna be a whole lot of articulation just because of how the rocks on the shoulders are gonna be. It's gonna be a little weird to kind of maneuver with it. So yeah, there's the arms. Then we'll get the head in there. And then boom. So yeah, already having a little bit of issues right now with this figure. So yeah, there is Korg all built. All right, and first his accessory is his weapon here. I don't know what you call this thing, but you get this gray here with all these pipes and stuff popping out of it. I, I'm just gonna call it a bat. And you get that other part with the bolts and you got this gold rod here with this like little hilt piece. I believe he also used it as a blaster at one point in Thor Ragnarok. But yeah, and there's a nice gold paint over it, so that's cool. So yeah. And then that's all we got for the accessories. And then here is Quarter up close. So here is his face. So it's all rocky, so it's very textured. And you, you can see his eyes a little bit there. It's kind of hard to see. You can barely see his mouth. Uh, I do wish they did uh, a little bit of a, like darker gray wash over it just so that way it gets in the cracks to give it more of a detailed look. And then you got this like fur shoulder coat over him here. So that's cool. Uh, it has no wash in it, but it's got like a little bit of a white, light brown to it. And then you got these leather like belt straps over it on his chest here with some buckles and bolts in there. And goes all the way around to the back. And then you got the strap on his bicep here. Uh, and then you got these forearm guards with these uh, this brown leather texture with some bolts in there too. You got this nice texture on near the hand part. Same deal on the other side. And then this one's for holding his weapon. And then this one's just like a relaxed hand here. And this actually, you could take this off if you want to. You can take this off. If you just pop the hand off and just slide that off, you can do that. If you're not really into that thing. And then we got this belt here with this like a uh, bowl thing gold on the center. And you got all this texturing all the way around it here with all those painted sil uh, silver bolts there all the way around it. And you got these like thigh pads here with some gold bars on it. And then the pants look pretty cool. It looks like it's like uh, leaves on it. Some red leaves with the blue. I don't know. It's very, very zigzaggy looking. Not zigzaggy, but looks like leaves to me. Goes all the way around. And then you got these knee pads here with the gold bars also on them. And you got the fur, like shin holder things 
that are tied up with like these leather straps all the way around them. And I believe they're a little bit different for both legs, actually. And then you got the bare feet. There are rock that there are rocks basically. So you got peg holes at the bottom of them. So yeah, and then here's the back front. And then that's all we got for the looks. So let's go over the articulation. So he has a disc ball uh, disc ball joint head that goes down. Ah, dang it. Probably not far. <laughs> so it goes down that far. Goes up that far. Left and right movement. A little bit of head pivoting. Shoulders move out that far. Uh, 360 rotation. You kind of got to maneuver a little bit. Uh, you got bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows. Uh, wrists can hinge. Well, yeah. Pretty easy to pop them out too. Uh, wrists hinge down that far. Uh, if you maneuver this, you can kind of get it up higher if you want to like that. 360 rotation if they want to stay. There we go. 360 rotation there. And then you got a ball joint at the diaphragm here. So you can go forward that far, backwards that far, side to side motion, some twisting. Legs can kick out that far, forward that far. Uh, unfortunately, you cannot close his legs any further than this. So that's a little frustrating. Thigh cut, double jointed knees. Did I go over this? No, I don't think I did. Kicks forward that far, by the way. Uh, ankles can hinge down that far this thing gets in the way a bit up that far nice ankle pivot so yeah that is korg freya i think he's a pretty cool figure actually uh like i said there, there's only a few problems with it actually now thinking about it. uh like the legs i can't get them closer at all which is kind of frustrating let me try to see if i can get a little bit closer but that's as close that they're gonna get i think uh, and then I wish they added a little bit of a paint wash, like a darker gray, so that way it, it gives it a little more detail to the rocks, but it's, oh well. Uh, and then also, like, you can barely see his eyes and mouth and stuff like that. At least in person, it's kind of hard. Uh, in, in camera, it's not so hard. Uh, but, yeah, they did a really good job on detailing and paint job for this guy, though. So, can't complain about that i think he's a really cool figure to build articulation is actually not bad uh the shoulders you can move around pretty easily um the head is a little difficult to look up and down on um shoulders aren't too bad they usually do single jointed elbows for figures like these so i'm glad i did it double jointed um and then yeah the only problem that i have is that like leg spread situation going on there so uh, but besides that, that's all I got for this figure. If you guys want to help support me on my other accounts, like social media, like TikTok, Twitch, and Instagram, go ahead and check me out at the link tree in the description. I also do brief reviews on these figures, like very up, up to speed, uh, get to the point type of stuff on TikTok if you want to check that out, if you just want stuff to the point. But besides that, thanks for watching. <laughs>